they build you up and then once you get there they're so quick to tear you down when you get there they quickly bring you down after building you up however if you feel compelled to confront him and inform him that after remaining silent for some time he has lost the greatest thing he has ever had janet jackson is providing her version of events Janet Jackson has addressed a matter that has been simmering in the background because she has decided it is time to make her views known. The part Justin Timberlake played in Britney Spears' hardships. This is made much more fascinating by the fact that Justin appears to be riding a tide of widespread acclaim. This revelation aligns with the publication of Britney Spears' book, The Woman in Me, where she courageously talking candidly about her ex-boyfriend Justin, she made some startling admissions about how he harmed her life and career. There's a theory that Justin Timberlake's use of racially inappropriate themes and discriminatory views toward women helped launch his success. The main question at hand is what Janet Jackson and Britney Spears think about it all. If you're keen to learn the inside scoop, Stick with us and watch this video all the way through as we delve deeply into their viewpoints and views on this completely captivating topic. For a while, it appeared that Applebaum would have to make a choice or the video shoot would come to a stop. Justin Timberlake has been the target of criticism for Britney Spears, but there is another aspect of Justin's career that hasn't gotten as much attention his alleged role in miscommunications and abusive dynamics, particularly in his interactions with female musicians like Janet Jackson at last. Janet Jackson and Britney have decided they've had enough. Justin has been accused of many serious transgressions over the years, and Janet Jackson is now publicly confronting him for them. The specifics of Britney Spears' turbulent relationship with Justin which ended in 2002, are revealed in her recently published book, The Woman in Me. When Justin learned about Britney's infidelity with choreographer Wade Robson, it reached a breaking point. The intriguing thing is that, although Britney has always been depicted by Justin as the bad guy, her perspective in her book is far more nuanced. Just before filming the music video for her song, Overprotected, especially the Dark Child remix. Britney talks about how Justin ended their relationship with a simple text message that read, It's over. Although some may contend that Justin didn't owe her a complicated breakup, it's important to understand that Britney had her reasons for breaking up with Justin. She underlines that Justin had prior romantic relationships, which he deliberately left out of discussions about their relationship, according to Britney. Justin has his own romantic relationships, maybe even with Christina Aguilera and singer Nicole Appleton. Brittany said that she was distraught by the split and that while he was having a good time racing around Hollywood, she was Como's in Louisiana. Despite his personal role in the chaotic affair, Chris Applebaum, the director of the music video, subsequently said that when Brittany got Justin's email about the split, he found her sitting on the floor with her makeup smudge from sobbing too distraught to do anything more. In order to capitalize on the breakup, Justin decided to paint himself as the victim and Britney as the one at fault. He started by releasing the song Cry Me a River, which went on to become one of his biggest hits as a solo artist. However, Justin wasn't done there. He also began a campaign to damage Britney's reputation at every opportunity he had. I'd like to think that at first, here is a popular female singer publicly, they'll claim to be virgins, but privately he hid it. This is similar to the famous interview with Barbara Walters, where Justin Timberlake brought his mother to discuss how sad and heartbroken Britney Spears had made him. He said, I'll come tomorrow. I just want him to be happy. It's interesting how a year later, Justin claimed satisfaction in being the first man Brittany had ever slept with, then going on to blame her for not abstaining from her premarital relations. Brittany also disclosed that in 2000, when she was still dating Justin, 
she found herself in a precarious situation where she had to have an abortion because, at the time, Justin was not ready to become a parent. Having an abortion went against her beliefs, and if it had been entirely up to her, she would not have gone through with it. Britney Spears wrote, I love Justin so much. I always expected us to have a family together one day. However, Justin wasn't happy about the pregnancy, saying, We weren't ready to have a baby in our lives because we were way too young. If it had been up to me alone, I never would have done it. Despite Brittany's strong belief that she didn't want to become a father, Brittany was unable to receive the proper medical care following the abortion because Justin didn't want anyone to know about it. Brittany handled the pregnancy at home with abortion pills, describing the experience as one of the most traumatic events of her life. Despite this, Justin continued to campaign to discredit Brittany because she had broken his heart back in 2006 when he was named GQ's Man of the Year. In an attempt to get back at Brittany, Justin took a less than stellar approach. He mocked her at a time when she was having mental health issues, calling her a Madonna imposter, giving her unsolicited advice to quit drinking, and even boasting about their previous intimate encounters. Justin seemed to enjoy making fun of Brittany, and we wouldn't have learned as much about this tendency of his. The world would have looked more closely at Justin's connection with Janet Jackson if Brittany hadn't made her surprising disclosures public. According to this investigation, Justin has a history of stealing components of black culture and mistreats women. People's accusations that Justin frequently appropriates black culture are not unfounded. The success of his first solo album, which included significant contributions from black artists like Fel Williams Timberland and Brian McKnight, helped Justin Timberlake become more of an R&B star. He even adopted the look of having braided hair and fitting in with the fashion and vibe in 2004. Then came the infamous Super Bowl performance with Janet Jackson, which would go down in history as a career-changing event, but not in a positive way. Janet's wardrobe malfunction during the performance of Rock Your Body left many believing that it was an accident while others conjectured that Janet and Justin had planned it regardless of the consequences. He even cracked jokes about the situation, thus hanging her out to dry and shifting the responsibility onto her. In stark contrast, Justin was somewhat rewarded for his role in the incident. He was allowed to attend the same Grammys from which Janet was banned. It's interesting how he managed to turn the whole situation into something that he found embarrassing for himself, despite the much harsher impact it had on Janet. Repercussions for Janet included being banned from attending the Grammys, being forced to issue written and video apologies, having her songs removed from radio stations, the media, and even her Mickey Mouse statue removed. This backlash significantly impacted the success of her next two studio albums. Select your tunes, pick your attire, and decide to stand out. In fact, Justin Timberlake's popularity seemed to soar as he seemed to escape any real fallout from his involvement in the incident involving Janet Jackson during their Super Bowl performance. After landing movie roles and working with numerous black artists, such as Usher, Jay Z, Beyonce, Snoop Dogg, and Nelly. In 2006, he finally made an apology in an MTV interview, but it was not a sincere and direct one to Janet. Rather, he essentially absolved himself of responsibility and pointed fingers at the industry, implying that black people and women were treated unfairly. In contrast, Janet, who took the brunt of the backlash, did not participate in a media frenzy to place blame on others, despite the fact that the incident had deeply hurt her. She expressed a sense of betrayal from someone she had considered a friend and even said, As a former Justin Timberlake fan, I cannot wait for his downfall the way he treated Britney and used their breakup for fame throwing the Janet Jackson 
Under a bus, he should be canceled. I can't even say he's a mediocre white man because he consistently harms women to get ahead.